Hello everyone, I'm Matt Kazani from Stroudwater Research Center. Today I will go through the step-by-step -step process of entering sensor station data and completed rating curve equations into the load calculator. The load calculator brings together both data produced equations and recorded sensor data to produce rough estimates of chloride and or sediment loads within a given time frame. This tutorial assumes that you have developed your rating curve equations to an extent where you're confident in their accuracy. This means that you have many data points plotted on your graph and they vary in range along the trend line from lower end values up to the maximum that your site can measure. This calculator, like the others, contains quite a bit of text that will provide more detail in the process to help guide you through the low calculator. Please refer to it if you have any questions or need clarification on any of the steps. When first opening this calculator, you should find yourself on the data import page. If not, click on the tab below to take you to the correct Excel page. We'll first focus on inputting our rating curve equations into the open cells in the top left of the page. Depending on what load you want to calculate, you do not need to have all of your rating curve equations prepared to properly total that storm load. Calculating a sediment load will require a discharge rating curve equation, a TSS turbidity rating curve equation, and an average offset. Calculating a chloride load will require a discharge rating curve equation, a conductivity chloride rating curve equation, and average offset. In this scenario, we'll be doing both loads, so we'll be needing to do all four parts. To start off, we'll gather our rating curve equation for discharge and our average offset. This is found in your discharge calculator by going to the rating curve tab within the calculator. It's indicated by green text, so this is the offset up here, and this will be the rating curve equation that we'll use in our load calculator. Copy these over manually. Next, we'll add in our chemistry rating curves for TSS and our chloride. These are created independent of our calculators that come pre-made. This will be through your workings of keeping track of all your grab samples, both lab results either from our lab at Stroud or another lab, and reconnecting the time and date that you collected your grab sample with the sensor data to create an X and Y point on a scatter plot graph that then has a trend line that will provide your rating curve equation. Copy these over, this is the same as our discharge equation. We'll then have to break down each equation into its parts in order for the calculator to function correctly. So we'll break them into our slope values and our intercept values. If within your equation you have a, a negative or a minus, be sure that the intercept is the one to receive the negative. We're now ready to receive sensor data for our load calculator. This concludes part one of the load calculator tutorial. I've split the full tutorial into three parts to make learning the process more manageable for the viewers. Part two will focus on downloading and cleaning up sensor station data Part 3 will then use that clean sensor data in the load calculator for storm analysis. As a reminder, before using the load calculator, all rating curves need to have a high level of completion. Also, be sure that the rating curves remain up to date with relatively recent field samples and measurements since streams are dynamic systems. Thank you for watching. I'm Matt Gazzani from Stroud Water Research Center.